Welcome, and let's get started on some resume writing tips. The typical resume has on average six seconds to catch a recruiter or hiring manager's attention. With such a quick review, your resume should be clear and easy to read and highlight your background. So, unless you're in a highly creative field, stay away from using a template and avoid using photos and graphics since they can be distracting. You will want to make sure to use a clear format that is one page, similar to this format. Font size between 10 to 12 point and an alternate but professional font like Garamond. Email should be some combination of your first and last name to be professional. Be consistent with formatting and punctuation. List every section in reverse chronological order and provide dates with months and years, not seasons. If you're having trouble reducing your experience to one page, a quick way to edit would be to remove any references to pre-college experiences. The only exception is for underclassmen. If you're having trouble filling one page with college experiences, then keep those from high school that show strong skill development or key accomplishments. This resume shows great leadership skills through extracurricular activities. It's okay to keep for now, since without this experience, there would be a bit of empty space. Let's look a little closer at the other content on this resume. Keeping in mind all of the formatting tips I just talked about, you'll also want to make sure the content is relevant to your interest areas by using key terms and buzzwords when highlighting your experience. Key headings you'll want to include in this order are education and experience, which can include different sections for various types, in this case, professional, leadership, and extracurricular are highlighted. And finally, don't forget a skills section. For your education section, Outline your academic basics like university and location, major and anticipated date of graduation, include any awards and honors and relevant courses. Add a separate entry for study abroad experiences or other educational programs. In your experience section, after including the basics like company name, title, location, and dates of service, include at least two bullet points with a detailed explanation of your involvement, keeping them achievement focused and task oriented. You can do this by starting each bullet with a different action verb to highlight a diversity of relevant skills. You can also use power words like supervised, developed, created, demonstrated. And also make sure to review for relevance and accuracy by keeping all current experiences in the present tense and all past experiences in the past tense. Remember to include a skills section. This should include technical skills and languages spoken, as well as any other technical skills relevant to your field of interest. Save your file with an identifiable name, like your first and last name and resume. Check the spelling and formatting one more time and have someone else or multiple people review your resume. Remember, there is no one way to write a resume, so continue to seek out feedback and be open to additional revisions. Thank you for taking the time to listen and watch. We look forward to reading your revised resume soon.